Good morning, everybody. Day 12. I'm feeling pretty good after that zero day. Um, so, this morning, Michelle Bryant came and snagged me up from the hotel. Brought me some Dunkin' Donuts sandwiches and coffee. Mmm, thank you, thank you, Michelle. And then she dropped me off at the Port Clinton Fire Department, where I got off trail two days ago. So, we're going to go... This is pretty much the rundown for the day. We're going to walk by this this river here. I don't even know what river it is. And we're going to go underneath uh, Interstate 78. We're going to climb up on one little ridge, drop down. And then we're going to climb up to Dan's Pulpit, the pinnacle, and then drop down towards Eckville Shelter. And that's where I plan on camping tonight, somewhere around Eckville Shelter. Not at the shelter, but somewhere around it. Um, so... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. When we're driving in here, the mountains are all covered in clouds. So if I can get up there and get to a good view spot and those clouds drop, we get that cool cloud inversion. We'll see. I got to get up there first. And I'm rambling, so I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views, you know just like I do, baby. So, let's go enjoy this day. I'm just gonna mosey today. So that first climb out of Port Clinton, it's not as bad as going southbound. And it's really actually not that bad at all. But I'm sweaty. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, he's just dangling from the tree. All righty. Windsor Furnace State Park is where we're at. Now check this out. So my first through hike was in 2012, the 75th anniversary of the trail. It's kind of neat. That grass is really wet. <laughs> I didn't have wet feet until I took five steps in there. All right, now we're gonna climb up to the pulpit, the pinnacle, the good stuff. Black snake. Let's see here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I know what he's doing. He's like, get away from me. <laughs> I guess it's start, time to start playing the game. Stick or snake. I almost stepped right on that little guy I thought it was a stick <laughs> it wasn't a stick I missed my turn <laughs> so I'm like going for a little while I'm like, I don't see a blaze anywhere I think right up here I don't know how I missed it but this trail I don't know what trail this is but I veered off onto it Probably because I was just moving. It might have been right around that snake. I don't know. But I'm on my way back to the AT. You know. Some extra footsteps today. <laughs> Just didn't feel right. And it's definitely not right. Look at this. Not white blaze. 
This is a tall tale sign. I should have never stepped across that. So that's where I messed up. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't go far. Maybe like 0. 0.2. That's where it came from. We're just in this nice little rock pile and been looking for snakes like crazy. And it sounds like somebody's mowing this field right here. Somebody's definitely mowing it. I smell the freshly cut grass and I hear the mower. Alrighty. Pulpit rock with nobody here. I'm so glad I'm here on a Monday. On a weekend, I can't recommend this hike on a weekend. Yeah, baby. Pulpit rock, let me zoom you in. Boop. And I'm pretty sure the pinnacle, ooh, it might be over here. But I think it's over here. I'm not sure. We're like two miles away from it, so it can't be far. Yeah. Pulpit rock, baby. I'm dripping sweat. Yeah, let's go get to the pinnacle. Maybe there won't be anybody there either. That'd be great. Look. Pulpit Rock, 1582. My body feels really good today. So I think I really needed that zero day. So it worked because I feel amazing right now. I'm still not gonna push big day just because well, I don't have to, and there's no reason to really push big, massive days. I'm gonna get up to the pinnacle up here. Look at this. The trail's lined in rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna get up to the pinnacle up here, and I'm gonna take a nice long break and just chill and enjoy the view. We're getting close. What please? This is a cool section here. Nothing but rocks, baby. That's fun. What a great, great day. Get rock gardens. <clears throat> I haven't touched the dirt in a while. Rock to rock. I like to play this game to myself. Like how far can I go without touching the dirt? Like the dirt is lava. Like when you're a kid, you're jumping all over your living room. That's what I'm doing right here with the rocks. Holy cow. I've got the pinnacle all to myself. Zoom you in. Boop. What are the odds? I don't think I've ever been up here by myself. 
last couple times I've been through here though, I've hit it on a weekend. It's not the time you want to come up here. Look, check it out. I just set my pack down. Boop. Mm. The pinnacle, baby. How beautiful. I can't believe it. Nobody's up here. It's so wild to me. But I'm happy about it. And I've been moving at a really good pace today. My body's feeling good. Um, so, my original campsite that I was planning on going, if I don't sit here for a while, I'm going to get to camp really early or I'm going to have to go farther or slow way down. And my pace is my pace. So, it's either going to be sit here for a while, which I'm probably going to do anyways, and then slow my roll to where I want to camp. The pinnacle. Yeah, baby. All right. Till next time, pinnacle. It's been real fun. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm all by myself up here. It's so crazy. All righty. So once you leave the pinnacle, you get this nice old forest service road walk. Look at what we got right in front of us. Stranger danger. I love this little spot. I always get water here. Seems like. I just got one bottle though, cause I'm almost down. Well, I'm kind of almost down to the road where the Eckville shelter is. There's like a house. The shelter is actually like a shed. <laughs> Pretty dirty in there. Uh, but they got some great camping across the street from the house there where the caretaker lives. I mean, it's like the greenest, flattest grass you'll see on trail to camp. All right, so I just passed the road. Eckville Shelter's on. I decided not to go there and hang out. Uh, but look at this. Boom. <laughs> uh, Kelly Spencer and his, and his daughter Israel were there. Uh, they just want to say hey. And they hooked me up with this Loco Moco. I like these too. I mean, the, any of the coffee drinks from Monster... The two, I guess. The mean bean and local mogul. I like them both. So, it's great finally putting a, like a face and personality with Kelly Spencer. Uh, I always like seeing new people that have been commenting for a while and getting to finally meet them. So, thank you, Kelly and Israel. I appreciate it so much. I mean, this is perfect. Now I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to get up on this ridge. And I think I'm going to set up camp early and just sit by myself instead of sitting down there with that grumpy caretaker at Eckville Shelter. 
yeah, I think I'll have a better time up here on this ridge by myself. <laughs> Like it's tricky to get your bottle in here to fill it up or your bag. So this is like the trick of the trade. If anybody's been a through hiker before you like put the leaf there and you put a rock on the leaf and then look, you like move it around where you need it. And then it flows off the leaf into your bag. So just a rock on a leaf. Alrighty guys, so as you saw, I got water fully loaded now with enough for camp too. So there's a couple little birdies who told me about this campsite up here. It's not in gut hooks, put it that way. It's not in gut hooks. So nobody should know about it. And it's off. The beaten path so I shouldn't be seen either would be nice first I got to get up there fully loaded with water Boop. <laughs> so that's where we came from we're climbing up it's a pretty gradual climb but it just goes on forever it seems like this is a climb that's going to take you up to Dan's pulpit. Nice view spot. But it is just a, a steady up. The new hammock is orange. And these tie outs came with it, one for the head end and one for the, the toe end. So I've got them going to my stakes where it's holding this tarp down. And if it starts to rain, I just flip this other side of this tarp down. My stakes are already in. I just hook it and go. Um, oh, and another thing, this peak shelf or loft, peak loft shelf, whatever it is from Dutchware, it was a must because all night long i'd be like losing stuff and it'd always end up underneath me so now i got a pocket so i can store everything which is perfect um oh yeah 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 end of the day recap that's what we're doing <laughs> end of the day recap day 13 not 12 uh like i said this morning i was confused uh we left the fire station right there in port clinton at 12 20 and we're now sitting at this stealth site at 12 37 makes it a 17 mile day flat so when you climb up from Eckville Shelter, uh, you got to climb up this up to Dan's Pulpit. And before Dan's Pulpit, like a mile or so, there's a trail that says Hawk Sanctuary, two and a half miles this way to the lookout. So I went down that trail uh, because I was told there's a campsite down here. And sure enough, there is. Uh, so that's where I'm at. And it seems to be pretty peaceful right here. So tomorrow we got Dan's Pulpit, Bake Oven Knob. Um, tomorrow might be a little bit bigger of a day. I did a shorter day today, a 17, just to see how my legs were going to feel. Uh, it's actually my left knee, but I'm good to go. So that zero day must have solved my problems. Uh, day 13, 17 miles. Hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll talk back with you guys in the morning, baby.